Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts Reviews Off Times Reminisces. Now, the other day, somebody, Autumn Sphere in fact, uh, asked me how I heard the uh, latest uh, Thy Dark and Shade album, and the honest, honest answer was no, so I went and had a listen. Um, now, I do know that Autumn Sphere quite likes uh, Thy Dark and Shade, that's probably an understatement. So, just in case it's, it's his birthday any time now or soon, I thought, why not do a um, reaction to it? Uh, now, as far as reactions go, this is nearly a reaction. I have flicked through the album um, and um, <laughs> picked a song to react to, albeit I know what it sounds like. Um, so, um, well, nonetheless, um, we'll give it a bash. Uh, and what have we got? We've got Veneration for the Fireborn King. Um, what can I say? Let's just crack on, shall we? So, first thing to say, you cannot fault a song that starts with a traditional ooh. Um, that sets you up nicely for what comes there after, hopefully. Um, and we get into a very rapid start as well, which is, um, as I flick through this album, um, that's what drew me to this particular track. Now, I am aware from the uh, the flicking through, and I've mentioned this before, I tend to flick through rather than listen um to a whole song initially. Um, there are far more technical sounding um, sections on other songs. Um, but I, as I say, the fact that this has got some motor to it um, was what drew me to it. And um, it may well be that um, you prefer, if you're a Thy Dark and Shade fan, you prefer the, uh, the more um, adept, shall we say. Not adept, that's... Uh, the, the songs that have more on display, put it that way. Um, but um, I can only go, but what grabbed me the most when I flick through, and that's this one, so uh, we'll, we'll crack on. <laughs> So 
as I say, this is the first proper listen of this song. I got an impression from it before I picked it, but it's a first proper listen. And again, I've been sort of wrong-footed in, in, in what to expect, although I shouldn't be surprised. Um, it is just as technical as uh, elsewhere, uh, just on a... Um, it's just sort of performing on a raft going down uh, white water uh, as a as opposed to some of the other um songs although i could be wrong as i say i've not listened to it enough um so there is that technicality there um you know when when bands um play more rapidly very often the guitar playing becomes more i wouldn't say basic but um sort of the, the, the chords are more straightforward and because maybe the speed doesn't allow room for any dexterity uh, but uh, this proves it wrong that although it's not an absolute blast along it's not the most speedy of songs you'll ever find but it's fast enough for me um but yes lots of little intricacies in there that um i wasn't expecting and um even more of a delight is is or just as much as a delight is the bass which flatly um barrels along um in parts it sounds like it's a slap bass um but nonetheless it is like that um girder strength uh, base where the wire is too thick if you like to give a rounded sound it gives that flattened sound um so yes surprising already So while I think about it, this, there's something about this um, song um, that reminds me of a, a, an old school band from way back when, um, and for the life of me, I can't remember who it is. I want to say um, early Abigail, but I might be wrong. Um, and I think it's the classicality of the guitar playing that leads me there. Um, and it's not like it's not a... Um, sound like it's a nod to really but um nonetheless it does remind me of uh, when you get to my age i've said this before if, if things blur something's become things from the distant past um are like a beacon and, and clearly seen and then others are just like um fog you have to form pictures from it and um but nonetheless my dark and shade are their own sound but as is the case of just about every band in the world you can pick influences or similarities with elsewhere now when it's just the intricacies are such as those on display here and it's a, a fairly narrow field of um bands you would say they sound a bit like um and i wish i could i say i keep thinking abigail for some reason but um I might be having a misplaced memory, but um, nonetheless, um, what matters is does the, the song engage, and am I enjoying it? And yes, I am. So, um, job done, isn't it? Really. <laughs> Oh, 
so there you go um some quite playful motifs at the end there um but uh on the whole sophisticated yet diabolical um it is a sound uh, that um repeated listens will reward i suspect um as is the case with uh, when i've listened to um thy dark and shade in the past um and the, the, the album cover tells you all you need to know really about what to expect within um it, it strongly hints what um i suppose you you tend you, you, you might need to know your genre um to get that suspicion but um for those of us that listen to this sort of thing on a fairly regular basis uh, no surprise that the album <coughs> excuse me art <coughs> excuse me again uh, reflects what lies within uh and on a final note i guess um uh, i'll be mentioning occasionally the geolocator of black metal or whatever music you listen to um and again if you'd have asked me without any prior knowledge where i thought thy dark and shade were from i would have said greece um and it is um a commonality with other greek bands that sort of intricate guitar work that sort of filigree in many ways uh of guitar playing reminds me uh, not in sound but in uh, intricacy if you will of uh, spectral law um and one or two other greek bands that tend to um they don't like they don't hide the light under a bushel when it comes to the guitar playing um anyway there you go um autumn sphere i hope that uh, that uh, makes it a very happy birthday for you even if it's not your birthday so um clicky bollocks catch you all next time cheerio